Yeah, I'm in the field, gotta tie my laces Me and my wife on a last name basis When I get home, I'ma run the bases Yeah, now I'm all tied like Mavis No shame, baby, you know I'm shameless Thank God that I'm in his good graces And he never took a loss like Vegas What a Batman, what a been Baneless Ooh, never really thought about it like that Guess the story isn't good unless you got a little bad Mind the league up in this thing, that's why the M is on that hat like that Seeking you find, don't happen overnight, yeah, needed some time With the OGs, I don't see them around Where the father's at, blind, leading the blind I'm talking wobble, wobble, talking shake it, shake it Yeah, drop it, drop it, talking take it, take it When you grow up on that, tell me what you gonna think about Women every time they walk past, it's what it is Okay, It is what it is Live and let live, Hey, My mama told me this, Hey, yeah yeah. yeah, I know I'm a hoot when I'm in New York. Holla ass suit, gotta get scooped. Hey, down on 162, got the Holy Ghost with me. I can never be spooked. Me and my Aunt Mary Ann, coffee and Italian cookies. Talking how I was a bad kid, I need a whoopers. Shot the trauma in the teachers, cause they always push me. Thought I'd be in jail, a bookie, not a car to book me. You can tell by this title that um it's gonna be a talk vlog. I basically just want to clear up some things that um I had said in the past. Y'all, y'all gotta read your Bible. Oh my goodness, read your Bible, child. Okay, so anyway, prior, not prior, my previous video, um, the one that says I'm talk I'm back, uh, a talking vlog, the thumbnail with the Bible. I said a lot of wrong for stuff, a lot of wrong things, and that because I was reading in the Old Testament. After talking to my pastor and reading the Bible and even having conversation with my auntie, I was just completely wrong. So now I'm in the New Testament and just <laughs> like... Y'all, I know I addressed the food part, but even the holiday, the holiday part was wrong as well. And the um passage or the scripture that I referenced, they was talking about um making a God out of it. They would literally chop a tree. Y'all know if y'all read the Bible, y'all know in the Old Testament, they made a God out of every single thing. So they was chopping the tree nailing the tree and took carving the tree and nailing it on the wall and calling it a god so that what that passage was um referring to not the christmas tree so um that was wrong and like I, even in church my pastor he was saying how i, I forgot the word he was singing it was basically um to say that the holidays are um pagan is not over scratched or exaggerated i think that's the word he used i can't remember but i know he he um he said it but like even even that and like you don't the way i figure it is if you don't um i'm trying to get my thoughts together i should have wrote this down but 
Okay, just imagine for me, for example, I go, oh, um, how to style this hair. I wouldn't say how to style a blonde hair. I don't have blonde hair. So why would I look up the pagan organ of Christmas? I'm not pagan, so I shouldn't be looking up the pagan organ for Christmas. And um, just just things things like that. And um, I dress the fruit, the food stuff, so I'm not going to talk about that. Oh, and I also want to talk about some fun things or things that I saw or noticed in the Bible that a lot of people haven't talked about. And one thing is unicorn. Unicorns existed or exist. I don't know if it looked like the same thing it is that we that is pictured to be. Because it said it said horns with the S and not a horn. And then dragon is this, but I think that's associated with the devil because every time I see the devil, I see the dragon, like the dragon breathe fire and everything. And um, Judas, Judas killed himself. He honked himself, which I, like people don't talk about Judas killing himself. All we know about Judas is that he betrayed Jesus, but nobody never like, oh, after he, he, um, he was guilty and he felt guilty. He hung himself. Nobody talks about that. Um, that was something that shocked me. And while we on death, Paul rose from the dead. I don't know if that was like a metaphor or that was like reality or it's like real, but I seen that I was like, wow. Okay. Um, and then I'm trying to remember everything. Basically, y'all just just read your Bible and please go to church every time because I don't go in person, which I need to do because I miss communion. I um every time the notification my church is going live, I, I hurry up and run to it because at first when I was first being a Christian, church was like boring to me. Everything was over my head. Now I look forward to go to church and it's like y'all go to church, stay in your Bible. Um. Some things that I didn't know that came from the Bible, like the uh, scripture um, or the verse. Um, in my household, we serve the Lord and honor the Lord. I thought that was just a phrase that people use, but it's in the Bible. Same thing with you don't let your left hand know what your right hand or your right hand know what your left hand is doing. I thought that was just a sin in the Bible. And it's just like you don't know things until you actually sit down and read the Bible. Like don't read the Bible just to read it. Read it to to learn and to better yourself as a, as a servant and a Christian because like you... It, it, Y'all just read your Bible. That's like the most thing I could like. I keep saying it, but it's the truth. Like read it with comprehending. And ask God every time you read it for comprehending and uh, for precise. Because sometimes, thank you Jesus, thank you God for explaining the parables. Because here go my simple but thinking. I understand the parable, and then and then the um, disciple asked him for the meeting, and it's totally different from what I thought it was. Like one of the parable was um, the end of the world parable. Um, it was the harvest one, the one where he goes, um, um, the wheat grow, and the the man was like, um, let them grow or whatever the case may be, and at the end of the the growth or whatever, when it's time to harvest it. Somebody going to separate the weeds from the uh, good stuff. And I'm messing this all the way up. And basically, he was saying how the good stuff are the people that's like, you know, good and going to heaven. And the weeds are the bad people that going to be thrown into the trash or thrown into what you call it. And the reapers are the angels or like I'm messing this all the way up. Just read it. Like, because when I see him, I'm thinking, he's talking about, you know, harvest stuff. And then he goes explaining, it. it's about the end of the world. I'm like, okay, that, that took a turn I didn't expect. And um, it just, just read your Bible and truly read it. And, like, be mindful of what y'all saying. Like, y'all speak life and death with your tongue, which is in the Bible, by the way. And it just, it, it just like, some of the stuff that y'all are saying, like, oh, I already know I'm going to hell. Like, why would you want to go to a place where you burning every single day, every single second, when you can go to heaven where, you know, um, you'll be celebrated in glory and, like, 
a wonderful things are happening why would you miss the opportunity for five thousand light or just you know it, it crazy to me and um i thought like oh she is she interrupted me just like the last time hi bubba hi yeah i'm taking too long okay i gotta take her back out um i know can you give me a minute please and um just like it's some other stuff in there um i can't even oh wow this is a long video i'm sorry i didn't i wasn't looking at the time but i just want to leave y'all out on that just read your bible go to church if you don't understand it please go to a preacher don't i want to say don't go to nobody else but like if if they life is if if they're taking God for granted, nine out of ten, like don't go to them. I like I don't want to tell you not to go because some people have good advices and actually understand the, the Bible. But I would say go to a preacher first. A preacher, go to a preacher first, or even if you in church, go to maybe like if y'all have a used paid pastor or whatever the case. Go to. You know, don't take man, don't take Google word because just like Google and man, they can have misuse of the verse and all that type of stuff and it gets you all type of confusion. God is not the God of confusion, you know. So just have Bible study, go to church, read your Bible and like it, it, I pray fast. Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Who said hey Google? Did somebody say hey Google? Cause they just listening into my conversation. Anyway, um, that's all I want to say. Um, and what can I help you with? Who said this? Who? Now, so Google can improve. It would help to know how satisfied you are with my response. <laughs> how would you rate it if one's the worst and five's the best? Uh, one right now. This <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, read your Bible. You know, um, okay. read your Bible. That's all I wanted to say, you know. Okay. See y'all in the uh, next vlogs. <laughs>